Okay, good. Alright. We're going to start with letters first. I'm going to ask you a few things, then we're going to move forward. Let's do letters. Alright, boys and girls, sound. Chronological ordering. 
Now we're working on something else. Instead of putting things together by date, we're doing something a little different. Ready? Prudence. This one's for you. What is the, how do you say PR? Give yourself a tip, right? Prudence. So, instead of working at chronological ordering right now, we're doing procedural ordering. It's a little different. So, we don't do chronological ordering nowadays. There are no dates in these instructions, right? Your assignment, your first assignment, the Unit 1, Module 2 assignment, no dates. Now we're just doing steps, putting the steps in order so we can get our expected outcome. That's procedural order, it's not chronological order. Finally, one more thing. Um, Dexter, what's IMP? That is in. Give yourself a tip. Okay? Sound. Yeah. It. Sound. Mm. Sound. Slowly. In. Quickly, what is this? In. So what we're going to learn about today are imperative verbs. And imperative verbs are just a fancy way of saying commands. Stand up, sit down, do this, do that. Alright? And that's about it. Let's see what's next. Um, okay. So we're going to go through this right now. But first, you need an exercise book. Take that out for a moment. We're going to do what we did yesterday. We're just going to warm up with an idea. Trying to explain, articulate the steps in a particular task. So what are we going to come up with today? Well. In your exercise books right now, I want you to list the steps necessary to prepare for a quiz. Every Friday we have a quiz. What do you have to do on that Friday, all right, preparing for a quiz? Think about the steps. What would the first step be in preparing for a quiz? Okay, let's pretend it's Friday, it's time for a quiz. What do you have to do, not me? What does each student have to do? It's quiz time. Eric? Be quiet. Okay, first thing, sure. Be quiet. What's the last thing? Alright, now think. So. We're almost ready for a quiz. What, do you, what exactly do you have to do? It's like yesterday, remember? Getting ready for lunch. What do you have to do to get ready for the quiz? All right, the last thing you have to do. Getting the quiz But we're preparing for a quiz. We actually have, we're not talking about taking the quiz. What do you actually have to do here before we can actually say, okay, number one, if. What do we actually have to do, Angus? Okay, wait for the teacher to start. Give yourself a tip. So somewhere over here, we're wait for the teacher to start. So to prepare for a quiz, it's quiz time. This is what you do. One, you be quiet, I guess. And then the last step is, wait for me to say, it. number one, in. In. And then you write it down. What goes in between? That's what I want you to do right now. Just take five minutes, yes. Okay. Let's do one step at a time. So you're going to be quiet, then you're going to clear your desk. I want you guys, right now, you can talk to each other if you want, we'll do it together on the board in two minutes. 
please fill in these steps. All right. Who here can draw? Okay. Give me be quiet. Vanessa, give me clear your desk. Pictures. You don't have to draw pictures, but maybe they will help you to understand the instructions better. They're mnemonic devices that help you to understand the words a bit better, the concept, the idea. So we go from be quiet to clear your desk. Then where do we go? Then where do we go? Then finally, okay, I'm waiting for the teacher to start. So we're quiet first. We're going to clear the desk. This is before we actually take the quiz. So what goes over here? My desk is clear. Now what? Think about that. My desk is clear. Now what do I have to do? And I always tell you to do something too. Every time we have a quiz, I tell you to do one particular step. Not yet. You just write it down, okay? You write it down in your quiz book. I always tell you guys to do one thing. You do everything else very, very well. Sometimes you forget to do this one thing, which is why I tell you to do it all the time. Okay, give me the third one. Thanks. Carrie, give me the fourth one. So we're preparing for a dictation. Come on, Tim. You can do it. What do we have to do? Your desk is clear. What's the next step? Sure, if you want, just put it up there. Let's try. Separate your desks. Come on, Carrie. You give me number four. Clear the desk. There's no need to draw pictures. My most important concern is that you can write the words. Pencil. 
or a blue pen. Okay? You can use the stationery. Take out the stationery. Even better. Let's do that. Give yourself a text that me. So we can use the word stationery instead of saying pencil, pen. You shouldn't be taking out white tape or white pen. But your paper or whatever it is, your eraser, just take out your stationery. Then take out stationery. And then we move towards, you've taken out your stationery, and we, what comes afterwards? You take, separate your desk. Now boys and girls, look very, very carefully. There's a bit of confusion here. We are preparing for a quiz. We're not taking the quiz yet. We're just doing everything to prepare for the quiz, not necessarily taking the quiz. Remember, wait for the teacher to start the quiz. Start the quiz. So, first, be quiet. Two, next, clear your desk. Then, take out the stationery. Afterwards, separate your desk. What are we missing here? Now think, think. What are we missing here? All right, let's go over here, Cherry. But, but wait, think, 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 okay. Take out the station. I have my pens. I have, I just, I have this on my desk. Okay, yes, Brenda. Okay, good. So where does this belong? Take out your quiz book. Five. Hmm? Five. Five? Okay. Three. Stay, take out stationary and quiz book. Stay, stay cap, stationary, separate, desks. Well, it could actually, I think all, all of these can actually be done together, can't they? They don't necessarily need to be done separately or in this particular order, right? So maybe we can just say, Because these orders, these steps here, don't have to be done in any particular order. That is, you can do all of these at the same time. It doesn't matter. Take out stationery. Separate your desk. Take out quiz book. Okay. Then, Cherry, what do we have to do? Okay, I, I have these things out. My desk is here. I have this. I have this. Now, what are we going to do? Yes, Natalie. Write the content page. Okay. We want to, yes, give yourself a tip. We want to fill in the content page. We can write things in the content page, or we can fill in the content page. Which one is this? Which step should this be? Four. Four? Four? Okay. So we're going to fill in the content page. All right, so afterwards, fill in content page. What about this? What does this mean? Pass in the quiz books? Um, yes. If you fill in the content page, so you will not, um, do, you will not pass the quiz book. Okay. So if we're doing this, then we don't need to pass in the quiz books, the right? That can be the way for the teacher. Ah, okay. Good. So, what happens at the end? What kind of procedural word do we use to tell you that, hey, we're done? Finally. Give yourself a tip. Finally, we're done. So to prepare for a quiz that we do every Friday, you guys are quiet and scared. Next, your desks are clear. Then, you take out your stationery, you separate your desks, take out your quiz book, afterwards, fill in the content page, finally, just wait. Number one, 
M. Alright. So, these are the steps that we need to go through in this particular order to prepare for our quiz. Next. Any questions? Anything at all? Okay. We're going to watch a quick video then. Here's the deal. What I want you guys to do, we're going to watch a video that our two R students have made. Right, they're having a food fair in two weeks. So they made advertisements for the food fair. And in these advertisements, they talk about making dishes. And in this video that you're going to watch, the students are going to make a dish. I want you to pay very careful attention to this video. In these boxes over here, you want to draw and write, or just write, okay, you have to write the sentences, or write and give me a picture of the most important steps that you need to take in order to complete this task of preparing this dish. All right. Can we get the projector, please? We will do this next year. Maybe. Maybe if I'm around, you'll do this next year. Let's see. Now I'm going to switch it over. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Now Tim's in the spotlight. Okay. So I need to log in. You can move your desks if you want to see. There will be subtitles. There will be subtitles if you're interested. Okay. I'm going to do this task as well. So we're going to watch this video over here, and they're going to make chocolate souffle. And we want to pay very careful attention to the key steps. What are the most important steps that they have to do in a particular order in order to make the chocolate souffle? And you want to write those things down. Angus, do you think you can stay awake? You think you can do it? All right. So we're going to watch this. There will be sound. So there will be subtitles, and you will hear the girls reading the instructions aloud. Give me six instructions. All right. The most important instructions. I will do this as well. We'll go over it. Oops, let's make it. We are preparing for the fun fair. We are going to make chocolate souffle. Here are the ingredients. We have two eggs, butter, sugar, flour, and cocoa powder. Let's get started! Yeah, great. Right. Let's turn to the cups. And dust with sugar. Set 
the flower. with sugar. 
dust. Change them. 
right? Make sure you have your own steps. And then we'll compare it to what we have on the board. These are not the model answers. There are no model answers.
imperative verbs now. Commands. We are using imperative verbs. Give yourself a tick, Eric. All right. Write this down. We are using commands. We are giving commands. Imperative verbs. That means we use the bare infinitive form of the verb. So, butter the cups and what? Dusted with sugar. Yes, next, Eric. Give yourself a tick. So I will give you extra credit. Let's see. Eric. Eric. I'll give Natalie. And Eric, 37. So, bare infinitive. Prepare the ingredients. Butter the cups. Dust with sugar. Let's put those together. All right? Let's change this. Should there be a number two, or should just this, should this be number two? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay let's make this number two then. Then, preheat. The oven. I hope that's a full stop. After that, separate, right, the egg yolks and egg whites. Okay. Then, sleeve the flour and cocoa powder and pour the mixture with egg white and mix it. We sleeve. Okay, give yourself a minute. Let's try that. You wear, yes? Not the egg white, this is the egg yolks. For the mixture of egg yolks, yes? Yes. Okay, give yourself a minute. Hold on, there's a lot of things going on right now. Hold on, let me just uh, take care of this. So it's Keith and Yoga. Yes? So can we use another procedure word? Because yeah, sure. But what do you want to use? use? Already the dead. Okay. And then number five. Is. What do you want to use then? Next. 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 Like next, you use next. All right. Next, sieve the flour and cocoa powder and pour the mixture of egg yolks. Yes, Vanessa. Uh, okay, give yourself a seat. Excellent. Nice job. Dexter and Vanessa. Uh, this is taking too long. Where are you, Dexter? Okay. So, first, prepare the ingredients. Butter the cups and dust with sugar. Then, reheat the oven. After that, separate the egg yolks and egg whites. Next, seed the flour and cocoa powder and pour the mixture of egg yolks and mix it. Finally, pour the mixture into the cups and put the cups into the oven. Hey, so yes? We stop. Oh, give yourself a Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, here's the deal, boys and girls. This is what I was talking about. There are a lot of steps. So we have to combine steps. But rather than writing all of these words here, rather than saying, okay, next, seed the flour and cocoa powder and pour the mixture of egg yolks and mix it and do this and that. What could we just say instead? Think about number one. First, prepare the ingredients. What is all of this, by the way? This is what, Yo-Yo? This -yo? makes all the ingredients together. Okay, that's a good one. So, maybe we could just do that next. Just mix everything together. No, no, no. Okay, Natalie, yes? Because the step is based on HDO in the one in the and mix the Take wise in another bowl and then pull it together in the 
So you Maybe that's a difference between Yes. There is a difference. Exactly. Yes. Give yourself a tick, Natalie. Mm -hmm. like you so we just can't just throw everything in there. They actually have to be done in a particular order. But we only have six steps, and we have tired hands. Is there anything else that we can do, Eric? Just make more steps. That's a good idea. It really is. Yes? Yes. Okay. There are only five steps. So where should we put another step? Uh, five, between five One, and six. two, three, three four, four, and then five. Five. What's five? Uh, yes, Vanessa. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Eric. I'm 
Be quiet. Look at me. Don't look at him, look at me. Do me a favor. And what else do we have? Uh, give yourself a tick. So this Wu's favorite phrases include, give yourself a tip, do me a favor, look at me, keep quiet, be quiet, and listen. What about number two? Let's talk about number two, Dexter. Hi. Even separate your desk and be for lunch is including in group one. Okay. Separate your desks. Yes. Prepare for lunch. Well, in fact, almost all of these can be attributed to me. Because most of them come from me. Indeed. But these are perhaps my favorite ones. All right? My favorite things to say, indeed, prepare for lunch. All right? Let's think about number two. Timothy. Give yourself a tip, Dexter. Uh, number two is an uh, activity for uh, re... Action. <laughs> uh, Sit down. Action Stand up. with a uh, chair. Actions with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> actions on a chair. Actions related to chair. Chair actions. Okay. <laughs> Give yourself a tip. Give yourself a tip. 
There's a reason why. Now, one of my favorite sayings, too, is this. Write this down. This is very, very important. You will see this again on Friday. Oh, oh no. So, one of your favorite phrases is, oh no. Well, one of mine is, write this down. We're not watching television. We have just organized our favorite imperative verbs in this class. We have just organized our most frequently used commands. You are responsible for knowing not only the commands, but also how they're related. We'll work on this again on Thursday, I think. Okay? For Thursday, please complete assign the assignment. Oh, so, so your favorite phrases are like, oh, and oh no. Well, my favorite phrase is write this down, or give yourself a tip, or have a, you should know this. Do me a favor and just write this down. So, for Thursday, I'll give you a little more explanation tomorrow. But for Thursday, complete the Unit 2 assignments. Are there any questions? Yes. Who has written this down? You are writing, aren't you? Yes. Yes. You're free. Yes. We're kind of slow today. You can go now, the bell has rung.